So, um, welcome to Simone's Smoothie Shop. Our shopping trip. We got a good deal on cornflakes. <laughs> My bulk. Honey, that. We bought an old abandoned catamaran, spent two years rebuilding her and embarked on a 7,000 mile journey across the Atlantic Ocean to our dream cruising grounds, the beautiful Caribbean. Subscribe below and follow the adventure as we explore our way up the Caribbean chain of islands to the beautiful Bahamas. So, um, welcome to Simone's smoothie shop. <laughs> Ricky's killing me, guys. He bought so many mangoes because mango season's going away now. It's end of July, beginning of August. And that means we're not going to have any mangoes anymore. So, we literally bought our fruit and veg ladies' mangoes, all of them. How many did she have left? This many. Oh, so he bought literally all of them. And. Uh, and so now what we're going to do is cut them up and then freeze them so that we can make smoothies with them whenever we feel like. So mango season's all year round for us. Check out all our mangoes. So these are still need to get ripened and those are the soft ones. So I'm going to cut that batch up and put them in bags and freeze them. What are you doing? I'm going to make a salad. After what felt like the whole day chopping mangoes, we headed off to Andre and Alejo on Hakuna for a chilled out barbecue. Keep going. So, you know, I'll make the eleven around. Did you? I think I have an extra pair. No, I think they're on my boat. I need you need, to, you need to get anyway. the drone and the drone footage anyway. Lock the boat and put the anchor the light on, okay? Drive safe and ride safe. Andrea, the men are gone. Let's party. <laughs> Oh, look at these two little chefs. Little. Little. <laughs> you clearly didn't see right. Gotta check those shapes again. No, because look how healthy you guys Little. are eating. Yeah. Vegan, vegetarian. Vegan, and, uh, vegetarian. Taco chickens. Oh. Echo smells it. Because <laughs> she's my window. <laughs> yeah. She totally does. It's like Sorry. one veggie, one chicken. One yeah. Veggie, one Echo. Chicken. I like it. Oh, we're gonna have some goodness. Look at this. Me and Aleo got the uh, got veggies skewers Look at going, that. Bomb, bomb. and there's some chicken. Thank you for the last. Check out the chicken ones. We got the chop. Oh, it smells chop so ricky. good. And the good thing is, only me, Aleo, and you are having the chicken, and we like we've got chicken. a load of it. The rest are having veggies. So. Mm, it's gonna be a feast. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The following day we got invited to sail on Porqueno, a 40 foot monohull. It had been a while since we last sailed on a mono and felt what it was like to lean again. <laughs> 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 like a kitten, man. Is she a Perkins? Yeah. 
Itty bitty Perkins. <laughs> That's why she purrs like the Perkins. <laughs> she started really quick. Yeah. Very good compression on that perkins, that's for sure. There's some some rocks here, right? Yeah. Yeah, on the left and right, and then straight out your line. Alright. There's a little gap. So we're just gonna motor out here and then probably buy sails here and just yeah. go south a little bit. Right. We lost a sail on a mono. Uh, mm, I don't know. So Daniel and Tonya, our new friends here in Grenada, invited us to go sailing with them. What do you put? And, uh, so we're going to go out with the day sail and have a good time. We haven't sailed on the Mono in a very long time. So it's going to be fun. Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets Don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't already and click on the notification bell to alert you when we upload a new episode and like this video as well as share it with your friends and family. It's a free way you can support our channel. Weekend was over and it was time to do some boat work tasks. Hey guys, so um, we've been getting up to some boat work and Ricky is quickly off on the dinghy to go find us a carpet. And uh, you might be wondering why the heck do we need a carpet on our boat? But as you know, we insulated, well, try to insulate these cabinets over here with some polyurethane foam it worked well and Ricky started insulating under the cabinets as well where um, we store our food under the seating and that worked out well too so we're gonna get more insulation and do the rest of the undercab but there's still a lot of lapping against the flooring 
So what we want to do is get a nice thick-ish carpet to run underneath here, which we think will just help dampen the sound. I mean, it's not going to get rid of it, but it will help and dampen the sound. Ricky's already sleeping a lot better, which is a great plus. So we just got to carry on doing that. So I came on one of my exploring routes. Simone's editing today. I'm actually needing to find a carpet for the boat because um, we want to put it in the middle just to kind of take away the little bit of sound but check out this beach that I came on we definitely going to come make a little fire here but it's like just us so we're going to come and set up here probably get two or three friends together and we'll come and grill the fish on the on the beach here this is a really sweet spot we never managed to find the right size rug for the boat, so ended up ordering one via Amazon. So as some of you guys know, on like Wednesdays and Tuesdays we go play volleyball and we play it in different places. And this is the one at like one of the resorts where we come and play volleyball here. And I believe that's a resort and that's the field there and that's the ocean. It's pretty insane to say the least. This place is magical, man. Our shopping trip. We got a good deal on cornflakes. <laughs> My bulk. His fave is cornflakes. Grocery day. Do a few groceries. This was like 240. EC. So yeah, I bet South Africa thinks pretty expensive and a lot of the people, even Americans, have said that Grenada is pretty yeah. expensive. So um, yeah, hopefully once we get to the French islands a little north, uh, we'll be able to stock up really well for the Bahamas and then go spend time in the Bahamas. Next week we are hauling out. Hopefully, we don't know yet. If all goes well, next week we'll haul out. And then after that we'll be heading up to Caribou and we're going to spend possibly the rest of the season there and Because we still have Petite Martinique as well. Yeah. My friends uh, Daniel and Antonia are leaving today to Curaçao. Bonnet. To, uh, no, they're going to Bonnet, not Curaçao. No, they're leaving tomorrow. They're leaving tomorrow but we're having our goodbye to get together with them tonight. So we got some snacks and some drinks and then uh, yeah, so we're gonna say goodbye to them. to go and make our own chocolate today. A friend of ours that we play volleyball with invited us to come to his chocolate factory and uh, come make our own chocolate, which I think is really cool. So that's what we're gonna get up to today and um, then we'll see it's a beautiful day today. So who knows what we do afterwards. Just use the hand lotion. For your face? Well, it was soap lotion. It was soap. I thought it was hand lotion. On what? My hands. Where did you put the soap? It's the same Nivea bottle. Put on my hands. Oh. I have a soapy hands. Oh, baby. Oh, okay. And then... Tell people that already. Well, this Should is everyone good. know that we are getting hauled out? Oh <gasps> my gosh, but you just put it in. So yeah, we're moving hey. over to Clark's Court on Monday, preferably, because the weather looks good on Monday to move over. Yeah. We don't want to beat all the way. Not that it's a long way, but... 
And holiday, man. Move exactly. whenever we feel Move like it. Move when the weather's good. And uh, so we're getting hauled out, and yes, we're getting hauled out, even though it's not been that long. But our, years, flanges, our flanges are. Our loose. flanges. <laughs> our flanges for our cell drives are off, so we need to re glue them, and we have to get hauled out because we've attempted to really glue them in the water, and it doesn't work. Have you got masks? So, yeah. Yes, I have masks. And uh, so that's our plans for the weekend. Get boat stuff done. Check out the chocolate process from cacao to chocolate on our previous episode. I'll link it up top. Ready to make your own chocolate? Ready to eat the chocolate. You ready to eat the chocolate? Because you moan! You guys are going for surgery. <laughs> Yes, fast, fast in the AC for a second. Oh, yes, I love it. Close the door. So, welcome to my little space. This is where the magic happens. That's the big shit I usually use. Remember, I told you about the churning process where we put the cocoa and the sugar and the additives? Yeah. This is basically this right here. Take a peek inside. That's some 56% we're working on. But that's just mixing, right? Yeah. So, that's basically. The oh. chocolate and the sugars and other additives. I think we're doing our milk chocolate 56%. Nice. So it's been churning um, since last night. I'll turn it off for the experience though. We're going to be making some chocolate. I spoke of tempering chocolate. This is our tempering machine. So we put the chocolate in to actually bring the temperature up and drop it back down. And this helps us get that chocolate look in. <laughs> You get to dip your finger to make sure. I know, right? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here is what we're going to be working with, right? Now we have some. We have the salt flavors for you guys, right? So now we have the, the, the grown up ones over here. We have some nutmeg seasoning. We have mixed nuts, which is basically cashew and almonds alone. We have some fruit in case you wanted to make a fruit and nut combination. We have some cocoa nips. This is for the real chocolate connoisseur because it adds an added dimension of flavor. It's very rich, rich. Bitter, rich, depending on how much you like dark chocolate. Okay. Right? Then for the kid within us all, we have some chocolate honeycomb shredded. Mm. It's like it's basically honey covered in chocolate. Mm. Gives a nice sweet tang, it's a bit crunchy. Think of a uh, butterfingery kind of taste. And then of course you have some marshmallows. You can never go wrong with the marshmallows. Got some sprinkles for the added color. We in the islands, you have to keep it tropical. And of course, we have some salt. Um, one thing I mentioned about the salt and the nutmeg, some people add salt to chocolate to bring out the flavor. Mm -hmm. If you have a heavy hand, you may not want to do that because too much salt is just gonna kill the flavor, and too much spice <laughs> is just gonna ruin it. If you're gonna put two sprinkles of salt, put half a sprinkle of spice. It's not okay. all. So just bear okay. that in mind. And I'm just gonna get you guys some chocolate ready and we can get going. You guys look beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Got 
Love it. Ricky, stop eating the chocolate. <laughs> I'm just cleaning the mess. Like it, oh. Sure, I'm dry. Hmm? Cool. I'm ready. You ready? Yep. All right, let me talk to you. Let me get you around. Thank you. I like how we can totally differentiate whose chocolate bars who is now. So you can't eat mine because mine <laughs> because is marshmallows. marshmallows and freaking fun, baby. There we go. My masterpiece is complete. Busy with the cleanup process. Very <laughs> bad. Nibbles and the uh, honey. I like the combination of the of the nut and the sprinkles right there, and the mini marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> I don't go on full on marshmallows. You know, yeah, I can be classic. Do you want to taste? Ooh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> That on vanilla ice cream. <laughs> this on a waffle. Oh. A little filthy child. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. What a day. We had such a good day making chocolate. We went exploring around the island on the scooters. And, uh, yeah, and now we're just gonna have a nice little stroll here on the little beach. Enjoy Prickly Bay before we leave on Monday to back to Clark's 40 and hold down and back to boat work. Ricky's pretty excited for boat work though. Boat work, baby! Are you excited for boat work? Uh, medium. But our anodes will be changed though, and our fan just will back. I think that's like. Two important jobs that need to be done. Yep. How pretty is it tonight? It's all pretty. It is pretty. Look how nice it looks. Don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up. See you guys next week.